Hi, welcome to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today we're doing a little micro game by Peter Hayward. It's called The Lady and the Tiger. It's for two players and it lasts between five and ten minutes, depending on how much time you want to put into it. It's a little deduction game. Both players will take a card and one player will be trying to collect sets of cards from the deck that's placed in the middle based on the card he has, whereas the other one is trying to guess what that player has. Let's see how the game looks. At the beginning of the game, you'll deal out the four door cards. Each player will take one door card and put it in front of them face down. You will discard the other two. The four door cards are the red tiger, the blue tiger, the red lady, and the blue lady. Once each player gets their card face down, you'll deal out three cards from the top of the deck, which will be corresponding suits as well as the two wilds. After both players have taken their door cards, in this case we'll have the collector, he'll have the blue lady, and the guesser will have the red lady. In a normal game, this will be face down, but for this example, I'll leave them face up. You'll then take three cards from the deck and put them face up. The collector then gets the choice of taking one of those cards. They, they're trying to collect a set of either four of the, their same suit or four of their same color. So this one would need either four ladies or four blue cards. In this case, they'll take the blue lady. It's not always in your best interest to take exactly what you're doing as it's a bluffing deduction game. And once that person has taken the blue lady, you'll replace the card with it on the top of the deck. And then the person who is guessing will take a card and try to delete something from play. They'll also take the blue lady, but this will go face down for later turns. The next card will then get flipped up and play will continue until the guesser decides to try to guess. They do that after they have taken their card. Play will continue passing back and forth until either certain conditions happen. The guesser can choose to guess or if the collector collects a set. If the collector gets a set of either four of the same suit or color, they'll get three points. If the guesser guesses wrong, the collector will get four points. The guesser, on the other hand, if they guess either the color or the suit, not both, they'll get one point for that guess. And if they guess both the color and the suit, like the specific card, they'll get five points. They'll also get two points if they run out, run out the deck and the collector doesn't have a full set of anything. As you can see, it's not a very big game. There's only three cards of each suit and two wild cards. This one is wild for color and this one is wild for suit. That's pretty much the entirety of the game. Let's get into the review. The first thing I would like to mention in this part of the review is we don't have quite everything that's going to be with the full game. We don't have a, the reference sheet, which is quite useful. We usually write it down on a piece of paper. We also don't have the score tracker, which I don't remember what he mentioned, but it's either going to be card with a tracker on it or cubes or something, or a little currency. Maybe it'll be coins. Um, I like the artwork on the cards. It's very simple and very straightforward, and you can instantly tell what each card is. The only thing that threw me off when I first played it was the wilds because I didn't know what I was expecting, but after that it was easy to tell what they are. The card quality is really good as well. I mean, there's I've played with some really poor quality prototypes and then there's this game which is really nice cards. It's a very quick game as well. It's We're not going to spend an... Well, we could spend an hour playing it, but we're more likely to spend 10 minutes playing it here or there. Like if we were playing at lunch somewhere or between other games or traveling with it, it because it's such a small compact size, which is another point in its favor. The last thing I would like to point out is this game is so replayable. There, With all the bluffing and strategies involved, you could switch up the way you're playing every time. Like, one game you could take the exact wrong stuff and just try to get your opponent to guess and guess wrong. Whereas another game you could just try to outguess your opponent and try to outthink what they're doing. And both are legitimate strategies. There's many more that I don't know myself and more intelligent people than me will figure out. And that's the game. If you like this game, we'll have more information down in the description below. As well as, if you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and check out our other stuff on YouTube. We also have a website, unfilteredgamer.com, where we do blog posts and giveaways, and we have our content posted there as well. 
You can also check out our affiliated websites, thegivewaygeek.com and everythingboardgames.com. Alright, see you guys later.